spend the day in downtown Copenhagen. It's really cold outside, but we have a lot of cool things to do, so come along with us. Cheers! Our first stop was Tivoli Fudol. To reach there, we walked to the train station as we intended to catch a train to the central station. So we needed to take the train heading to Copenhagen H. It has been exceptionally cold recently, so if you are visiting now, make sure to bundle up well because the temperature here is really freezing. We decided not to bring a car since our lightweighted car will struggle on icy roads, but on the bright side, it's a great opportunity to explore Denmark when everything is covered in snow. Denmark has a fantastic transportation system compared to the ones in Portugal. The transport here is efficient and always on the move, minimizing waiting times. Tivoli Fudol is right across from one of the central station exits. You just need to cross the road. For those unfamiliar, this indoor food market offers a variety of cuisines from all around the world, including Japanese, Thai, Italian, American, and of course, traditional Danish food. The small breads here looked delicious. Considering the prices in the rest of the city, the ones here are reasonable. I ordered the shrimp pad thai with a cola totaling 148 Danish crowns, around 20 euros, and my husband got a sushi combo with some appetizers. And it came to about 300 Danish crowns, so about 40 euros including drinks. Our next destination was Rosenborg Castle. Its construction, initiated in 1606, stands as a testament to the architectural style prevalent during the reign of King Christian IV. Until 1710, the castle functioned as the residence of the royal family. Following the reign of Frederick IV, it served as a royal residence on two notable occasions. First, in 1894, when Christianborg Palace suffered a devastating fire, and secondly, in 1801, during the English invasion of Copenhagen. The ticket for the castle costs about 140 Danish crowns per person, and I think for visitors it's more cost-efficient to access it through the Copenhagen card. The castle is divided into four floors, with my favorite area being the one with the throne on the second floor and the basement where the treasury is located. In front of the castle you can enjoy a beautiful view of a lake that was frozen on this day and a lot of vegetation. We also had the opportunity to say hello to the ducks there. I highly recommend visiting because the castle preserves the environment of the past, making it very interesting to explore and to see. Afterwards, we took a stroll by the lakes. Despite the freezing cold, we chose the walk because any excuse to explore Copenhagen is a good one. It took us about 30 minutes on foot from Rosenborg Castle to the lakes with a short stop at the botanical garden to see the snow and also the frozen lake. Unfortunately, the butterflies in the botanical garden are not available for viewing in winter as they are inside their cocoons yet. Lucky us that had the opportunity to see them last spring. We didn't actually go inside the greenhouses, but we have done it before, so at least for us, it wasn't worth it this time. We enjoyed the outside garden much more. We continued walking and finally reached to the lakes, one of my favorite spots in Copenhagen. Our plan was to visit one of our favorite coffees, April coffee. However, when we arrived, it was already closed. But yeah, if you are in this area, please don't miss trying the coffee from this coffee shop. Despite the price not being very favorable, it's definitely worth trying it. Since we missed it, we try another coffee nearby called Laguni and Co. I ordered a latte and a croissant, which I must say was excellent. As it was getting late and we have a puppy at home, we started walking to catch the train back. However, passed by a pizzeria right in front of Copenhagen station and the aroma of pizzas was irresistible. This place is an all-you-can-eat restaurant costing 99 Danish crowns per person, drinks not included. It satisfied our pizza cravings. Afterward, we went to catch the train back home and that was our day in the city. I really hope you enjoyed this video and some of these tips were helpful to you. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. 
Bye.